Islam Makiv and Khabib Nurmagomedov, both products of the famous American Kickboxing Academy, are often compared as two of the greatest lightweight fighters in MMA history. While Nurmagomedov retired undefeated with a perfect 29-0 record makeup is currently the reigning UFC lightweight champion and is already being mentioned alongside his mentor Nurega. Daniel Cormier, a former two-division UFC champion and a close associate of both fighters, believes that Mev possesses an even more dangerous skill set overall compared to Nurmagomedov. He highlights Mem's proficiency in striking in addition to his dominant ground game making him a formidable threat in multiple aspects of the fight game in terms of title defenses Makov is on the verge of tying Nurmagomedov's record of three defenses before his retirement. Makachev's potential opponents for his next defense include top contenders like Justin Gaethje, Charles Oliveira, and Armand Sorokian who are all scheduled for matchups at UFC. 300 however following Dustin Pierce, recent victory at UFC 299 Cormier sees Perrier as the best option for Makachev's next title. Defense Cormier believes that a matchup between Makachev and Perrier would make sense from a promotional standpoint as defeating an established star like Pure would further elevate Makachev's status and solidify his position as a rising star in the UFC lightweight division Ilya Topter of the newly crowned UFC featherweight champion is still reading in the glory of his title win. Recently, he was greeted by enthusiasts, fans at the International Airport in Georgia where he was swarmed by supporters eager to celebrate his victory. Topura, affectionately known as El Matador, has become a symbol of national pride for both Georgia and Spain, representing both countries in his journey to UFC success. Born in Germany and raised in Georgia, Topura currently fights out of Spain. His victory at UFC 298 marked a significant milestone not only for him, but also for Georgia as he became the first UFC champion from the country the video captured the excitement and adoration of fans as Topura greeted them from a vehicle underscoring the widespread admiration he has garnered moreover Toe's achievements have been recognized beyond the realm of MMA as he was honored at the Santiago Bernabo Stadium in Madrid the iconic home ground of Real Madrid Football Club these celebrations serve as a testament to Topura's growing stature as a sporting icon and a source of national pride for both Georgia and Spain Bone Nichols placement on the USC 300 card has sparked controversy among MMA fans primarily due to his positioning above more established fighters and former champions as a highly touted prospect with a promising future Nichols. Presence on the pay-per-view portion of the event raised eyebrows especially considering his opponent unranked Cody. Brundage Many fans argue that a win over Brundage won't truly showcase Nichols' potential as a future champion and his placement above fighters like Charles Oliva and Armin Zerokian demonstrates a lack of respect for their accomplishments in the sport. The initial bout order for UFC 300 had Nietzsche versus Brundage scheduled as the second fight on the pay-per-view portion, but after widespread criticism, the UFC adjusted the lineup. The revised order now has Nickel versus Brundage as the opening fight on the pay-per-view card. While some argue that bout order is inconsequential to casual fans, the decision to move Nickel's fight down the card reflects a recognition of the significance of matchups involving more established fighters like Allah and Zarek. Kian, despite the reshuffling, UFC 300 remains stacked with compelling fights from top to bottom showcasing the depth depth and talent of the promotions. Music. Roster Justin Gates' decision to return to the Octagon at USC 300 and put his BMF title on the line against Max Holloway instead of waiting for a lightweight title shot against Islam, make of may seem surprising to some but for Gatey it's all about seizing opportunities and embracing the uncertainty of the sport despite the log. Jam in the lightweight division guy he saw the chance to fight Holloway is too good to pass up he views life in his fighting career as a series of moments where he must act decisively and this opportunity was no different facing Holloway presents a significant challenge as the former featherweight champion has never been knocked out or knocked down in his USC career however Gai is confident in his ability to inflict damage and believes he can be the one to change that narrative guy is fully aware of the stakes in the lightweight division and understands that he needs to continuously prove himself to remain in contention for the title with other top contenders like
Charles Oliva also competing at USC 300 Gaye sees this as an opportunity to distinguish himself and solidify his position as a top contender for Gaye fighting is not just about winning titles but also about testing himself against the best and leaving a last lasting impression he is determined to stand out among his peers and make a statement with his performance at USC. 300 Amanda Rebus is gearing up for the biggest fight of her career as she prepares to take on former strawweight champion Rose Nunes in the main event of USC Vegas. 89 Rebus currently ranked 8th in the women's flyweight division is looking to make a statement and propel herself closer to title contention despite never having main evented in the USC before and having only fought in a five-round bout once in her career Rebus is confident in her abilities she is coming off an impressive third-round finish in her last fight against Luana Pino and is ready to take on the challenge of facing. Nunes Rebus believes she has the tools to secure a victory over Nana Yunus predicting a third-round knockout win. She attributes her confidence to her striking inability to control distance in the octagon while she enjoys fighting in the smaller cage at the USC Apex Rebus, acknowledges the absence of a live audience noting that it can detract from the atmosphere of the event with a win over Nunes Rebus hopes to solidify her status as a top contender in the flyweight division and set herself up for a potential title shot in the near future. Tom Aspen the interim USC heavyweight champion has shifted his mindset regarding his desire to fight John Jones. After experiencing the uncertainty of waiting for a title unification bout, initially Aspen campaigned for the titles to be unified upon Jones' return from injury, but both the promotion and Jones remain focused on rescheduling the fight against Stipe Make during an appearance on Michael Bisping's Believe. Yumi podcast Aspen reflected on his change in stance emphasizing that he doesn't want to wait indefinitely for a fight that may never materialize. He referenced Michael Chandler's situation where Chandler has been waiting for a matchup against Connor. McGregor Aspinall expressed his respect for Chandler, but stated his unwillingness to emulate Chandler's situation of waiting indefinitely on the sidelines. Instead, Aspen wants to forge his own legacy and pursue greatness on his own terms without relying on waiting for specific opponents. Demonstrating this new perspective, Aspen accepted calls for a rematch against Curtis Blades with his interim title on the line. This decision reflects Aspen's determination to assert his own path to greatness rather than waiting for external circumstances to dictate his music career.